business? It's none of your business. I ain't got jack and save him. <laughs> Rather stay home and smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> yourself <laughs> god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you sometimes i like talk to men and like get their money but i don't do that anything with them they want me to be their sugar baby like they want their sugar but it's like <laughs> <laughs> can't believe you guys just had me watch this man never short stopping now i'm winning like i'm jita steady through the rigor yeah i'm getting bigger What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Dallas, Texas. And today, you're we watching a series of videos to get my reaction. My production team thought it was a good idea for us to continue with the reaction videos to get my thoughts on how much people have saved on this YouTube channel called Cut, keeping it 100. And uh, there's 100 people here that are revealing how much money they have saved. So let's check this out. How much money do you have in your savings? Oh, see, <laughs> you in my business. You're my business. How many of you, that's the problem right there. How many of you were raised in a family, we're talking about money, credit score, how you make your money, invest your money, that was never talked about. It's a big reason why I'm going to predict that a lot of people in this video probably don't have a lot of money saved. I haven't seen this video, so I'm going to predict that based on how this is already starting in the first four seconds. Don't do that. Here we go. Diverse, diverse. Money I love got it. Saved up. <laughs> see, there you go. Yeah, uh huh. See, it's, it's hilarious. On how you look at it. Depends oh, on how you look at it. Uh -huh. Embarrassed. My mom always told me, don't tell people uh, how much money you have. That's exactly what I was talking about. You see what I'm talking about? My mom always told me, don't talk about money. There's a privacy issue there. But however, aren't you inspired by when you Google and you find what celebrities make or what athletes make? Good Lord, that's a lot of money. Aren't you like inspired over contracts went down, with deals got closed? Aren't you inspired? by those numbers, well, why don't you be smart at home talking about how much money you're making and saving. If you never talk about it, it'll never manifest itself in your pocket, in your home, in your checkbook. And don't put your purse on the floor. Do you not feel comfortable saying like around how much you Of course you don't. Not really. Of I'm course gonna not. I'm going to keep it to myself. Uh -huh. Some stuff just needs to be private. It's exactly why the multicultural middle class stays broke. How much money do you have saved up? I don't want to say uh, it. Do I, do I have to answer? <laughs> no, you don't want to say it. before, but now I'm making six figures. Okay. So wait, by the way, let's be proud of that, brother. You make $100,000, I make six figures. Hey, that's pretty good. You know, people in America don't make six figures. Very proud of you. And uh, here's, here's why I suspect why he's not sharing, he's embarrassed about sharing his savings because even though he probably makes six figures, he probably doesn't have anything to show for in his savings. 500,000. Good for you. Good. $28,000. Good. 16, 16, 15, Good. 12, 11, 11,000. 10, maybe have almost 10K. $9,000. $8,000. Thanks, unemployment. Well, well, thanks, unemployment. Okay, I, okay, I don't know how I feel about that. Thanks, well, by the way, thank God for you Save your money instead of blowing it. Okay. Seven savings. Six grand. Six thousand dollars saved up. Five. By the way, is this is already starting to play out? It it's a lot more than what I expected. So I'm glad they are pleasantly shocking me. Eight hundred in my savings. How much money do you have in your savings account? <sighs> um. <sighs> Uh, uh, <laughs> laughing about it. I don't check the bank account. You should check your bank account. If you don't keep your eye on money, somebody else has got their eye on your money. Because I don't need that negative energy. <laughs> <laughs> she don't need that. She don't need that negative energy in my life. Look, by the way, she's all tatted up. She got her money's on her. By the way, just so you guys know, right here, I'm thinking about getting some ink. <laughs> I even think we're getting some ink, okay? And uh, there's a guy here, he's Filipino, right here in Dallas, and because I want a Filipino sleeve. I'm thinking about getting a Filipino sleeve. I don't know. But uh, just to talk to him and book a, a session, it's 500 bucks. And then, and then I got to book him for 300 bucks an hour for five hour minimum session. So it's $1,500 for a tattoo. So tattoos aren't cheap, and she's all sleeved up, and she's got a lot of money on her body right now in terms of ink but she doesn't need that negative <laughs> negative energy in her life, but her money is on her body. This, this is, is not okay. Well, I don't have a whole lot saved up. How much right now do you have in savings? $500. 500 bucks. $500. By the way, I remember that was my 
big gold. I saved 500 bucks. And then one emergency, one emergency wiped out my entire 500 bucks. It was a flat tire. I think it was two flat tires. At the time I was living in Chicago, you know, during construction season. But uh, that was my life for a long part of my life. Large part of my 20s, barely scraped together $500 put in my savings. And this young lady looks like she's about to have $200 in her savings. $135. $135. Uh, $120. $120, $120 left. Payday, but he got, some, he got changed, though. He's got some jewelry, though. Uh, $120 left in his bank, but he got some jewelry. Okay, just wait until payday. Listen, do you want to live a life of paycheck to paycheck? I know it's so annoying. And as we get toward the end of the video, I'm going to give you some solutions, some thoughts on how to improve this scenario. You're cutting it close, right? Oh, it's cutting very it close. Very cutting for it close. Sure. Of a solid hundred dollars, and I feel very good about that. That's going to be Sol good. No, you good don't. No, you don't. Those lashes alone on your face is a couple hundred bucks by itself. If one of those lashes come out, you're not going to feel very good because you don't have enough money to put lashes back on your eyes. Oh no! How do I know that? My wife. I've got daughters. That's how I know. Lashes aren't cheap. How much money, how much money do you have in savings? Like $60. 60 $10. 10 dollars. Bucks. Almost none. No money. Okay, Ivan, mean, this started like at $500,000, $200,000. She's been hanging out here at the bottom ever since. What do you think, Malcolm? No money. She's been hanging out here at the bottom. She's about to say no monies. Zero. That ain't got jack in savings. <laughs> Rather stay home and smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, by the way, I'm not, sister girl, I'm not laughing at you. I'm like a wicked because she'd rather stay home and smoke all week. No monies. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, listen, man. I, listen, I've been there, man. I've been there. I was a single father for 14 years. I've been there eating top ramen noodles with chicharron and salsa. I know it all, bro. I know, all the, all, I know beef, I know chicken, I know shrimp, all the flavors of top ramen was I, I know what it's like to live on rice, eggs, and spam. I know it's like to have those dinty more beef stew. I know it's like to have corned corn beef, <laughs> canned corn beef. I, I know what it's like. And that's why I so much appreciate where I'm at today because of the gift of entrepreneurship and understanding the rules of the money game and winning the money game. What money do you got? Right now I'm a current student, so I'm broke. If you don't learn it now as a student with uh, no responsibilities, you have no husband, you have no spouse, you have no wife, you have no kids. It's the easiest time to get your money straight. Easiest time to get your money straight. And so if you're broke now in that scenario, you got some major work to do. And again, towards the end of this video, I'll give you some solutions. I wonder if I should say this. <laughs> yourself. <laughs> God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Yeah, bro. It's harder to talk about money to people that have more money or that are more stable than you. No, no, it should not be hard. You know, uh, when I was broke, you're right. I ran to a bunch of people that were making a whole lot more money than me and they were rich and they were snobby. They were a-holes, you, you name it. They looked down on me and they, they you know, looked me up and down and looked at what I was wearing, looked at the clothes that I had on. They saw that I wasn't driving no cars, getting on the bus. And I told, I, I said, you know, I told myself, one of these days when I get rich, one of these days when I start making money, I want to reframe the way rich people are perceived by the average and ordinary because there's only a certain period of time where I'm no longer going to be average and ordinary. I'm going to be extraordinary because I'm willing to put in the extra work. And I hope as you're watching this, that you find it in 2022, whenever, whatever year you're watching this, that you find ways to get confident and comfortable with humility and hunger asking other people how they've made their money and what lessons they can teach you to help you get financially ahead too as well. A one light ticket that I just got a letter that said mm -hmm. he went to collect. Oh, wait, hold up. But he's got a, uh, a, 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 a vest St. Laurent hat, right? He looking good though. What, what top is in collections, but brother looking good, man. I just, look, look, got a chain on. Whack. Got a watch on. Whack. Got a leather jacket on. Whack. Got uh, got a, a, a designer hat on. Whack. Got some jewelry. Who knows, it might be Kubrick's Arconia, even if they are. Whack. But you're in collections. Why? 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 Listen, there's another video here I, guys, I want you guys to watch. It's one of the most humbling moments I had during Thanksgiving. Check out this video right here. One of the humbling, most humbling moments I've ever had in my entire life. It was during Thanksgiving. And Marine Corps unit was asking her, hey, which Marine needs help with turkey and food for the family for the holidays? I raised my hand. We just came back from the I raised my hand. And anyway, make a long story short, check out this video here. I won't spoil it. Do you have any debt? 
I just paid off my debt. Next good month for will you. be 100% debt free. Awesome. Are you good with money? You know what? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Really good with money. Why are you good with money? My parents always encourage me to like save. I've been trying to be cheap, cheap to a fault, almost. Saving money was better sooner than later. Are you good with money? For you? No. Why aren't you good with money? Honestly, good. If I make it, I spend it. By the way, this guy is older. He's older in age. Listen, if you went your entire life without being good with money, and I hope you get gooder with money sooner. That was a word, by the way. If you get gooder with money sooner in your life, uh, you're not gonna. Ha you can have a whole lifetime years and decades of your money working for you. If you never have your money working for you, you've just wasted years and decades for that money to just work for everybody else versus yourself. Think about that. I love an eBay fashion find. I do um, have a little shopping dependency. Employment this year has been, I'm still on it. Sometimes I like talk to men and like get their money, but I don't do that anything with them. They want me to be the sugar baby, like they want the sugar, but it's like, <laughs> it was a laugh it was a laugh that did it for me all right folks okay bro <laughs> can't believe you guys just had me watch this man all right so a few thoughts as I, as I wrap up this video if you want to make sure you don't live another year two five ten years of your life broke paycheck to paycheck no savings but the only thing that you have to show for is debt. Here's a couple thoughts. Number one, I literally just got my hair cut, okay? And I was talking to Joseph, and Joseph, if you're watching his brother, God bless you, bro, I appreciate you. He's literally an Iraqi refugee, okay? He doesn't come from this country, um, came here from Iraq, and uh, was a refugee. He had been here now, what, uh, 10, 13 years? Anyway, make a long story short, his biggest frustration was just cutting my hair. I said, what's your big plan for 2022? He goes, I wanna be a bigger investor. And why, why you want to be a big investor? Because, man, I want my money working for me. I, I see the American dream. I want to invest in real estate. So how come you're not doing more of that? You're fixing and flipping homes. What do you think the problem is? Not enough savings, okay? Not enough cash. If you don't have enough cash, you don't have capital. I always talk about the three C's when you're starting to build your finances. Number one is contacts. Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know that can help you? Number two, cash flow. Very important, cash flow. You have to find ways to increase your cash flow constantly long after you're at your job. In other words, if you have to clock in and clock out with your, with your, with your uh, income, you have to find other ways and resources to be more self-employed, to find something else to sell on the side, to start a side business, start a side hustle, and start increasing your cash flow. Find ways that you can find a situation where you might be a, not necessarily an entrepreneur, but you can be an entrepreneur that over no, another one, three, five, 10 years down the road, you can be part of a process, you can be part of a system that allows you to grow that business, allows you to grow that department, allows you to grow that company, and you have a piece of that company too as well. That's another form of it, but you just can't be sitting here, man, if I don't do nothing else for the next three, four, five years, I'm gonna be doing this clocking in, clocking out, nine to five, I'm predictable in terms of what I'm going to make over the next one, three, five years, et cetera, et cetera. So you have to find ways to increase double, triple, quadruple, 100X your type of income. I used to make $20,000 a year as a sergeant in the Marine Corps. That was my paycheck, $20,000 a year as a sergeant in the Marines after eight years serving in the United States Marine Corps. And I was thinking to myself, how do I start making this uh, every six months? How can I start making this now every month? Now my thought process is how can I start making this every week. Now, pretty soon here, we're getting to the point where how can I start making this every two, three days? Why? Because we have a system to increase our cash flow through the gift of entrepreneurship, which leads me to number three. So number one, you got contacts, you got cash flow. Number three, because once you have all these, now you got capital. And how do you get capital? You need to improve your credit score. You need to make sure that you minimize what you spend and you has increase what you save, which a lot of these people weren't doing as they showed. But the way to get from where you're at right now financially to compound it over a period of time is to increase your savings. And then when investment opportunities arise, and if you have savings, you have capital, then you can move. If you don't have savings and you don't have capital, you got nothing to play. It's like, it's like being a farmer, it's starting to rain, the soil has been cultivated, but you have no seed in the ground. So it doesn't matter how much the soil has been cultivated, how much rain is about to pour down. If you don't have any seed put away every month, every week, every year, you don't have seed in the ground. You're missing out your seasons of letting your money grow and manifest. And your money tree will never be able to be able to establish its roots, it won't shoot up, up out of the ground. If it doesn't shoot up out of the ground, it never extends its branches. If it doesn't extend its branches, it never will bear fruit. So the sooner you can make more money, 
The sooner you can start saving more money, the sooner you can start investing by putting that seed in the ground, the sooner you will start winning the money game. So before I let you go, I want you to check out these two videos right here. Number one, if you wanna make a million bucks, this is the millionaire math. All money is, is a simple formula. Check out this video. If you wanna see how I turned a $500 investment and built a $71 million company, check it out right here too as well. These are the only things I have to share with you. I've got nothing else to sell you but everything to educate you with, to show you an example potentially that you might feel is a form of success that you can watch, learn from, and understand my mistakes, so therefore you can avoid it too as well. So that being said, guys, I love knowing your thoughts, your questions, your feedback. How you been feeling watching these folks wiggle, 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 wiggle <laughs> as it relates to their finances? And I hope, for, hopefully for you, that uh, you find it in this year, instead of you wiggling about money, that you stand up straight, confident, with chest, out and shoulders back that you're confident about your financial situation in 2022. If not, continue to watch the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel. That being said, guys, if you haven't done so already, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our Facebook page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click like, hit subscribe, and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. From Dallas, Texas, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.